Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the code forces problem A, maximization of round 708 division 2. So we are given an integer n and an array of n elements. We have to reorder the elements of the array in such a way that the sum of max on its prefixes is maximized. Okay, that means that we have the array and we have to reorder the elements in such a way so that for each prefix the max is maximized, only then the sum will be maximized, right? Now if you don't know what max is, for a set of given integers, max is the smallest non-negative integer which is not there. For example, here 1, 2, 3, what is the smallest non-negative integer which is not present? 0. Here what is the smallest non-negative integer which is not present? 0 is present, 1 is present, 2 is present, 3 is not present. So max is 3. So this is what max is. So a very very simple problem. Let's just see at the t the test case. Okay. So this is the test case. We have 0, 4, 2, 1, 3, 3, 7. We have to reorder it in such a way. For each prefix, the max is maximum possible. So what are the prefixes? This is one prefix, then this is one prefix, then this is one prefix, then this, then this, then this, then this and this. So on. So these are the prefixes, right? And <laughs> this is my given test case. This is my given test case, 4201337, right? So this is my given test case and like I already said, this is a prefix, this is a prefix and this and this and this. these are the prefixes and for each prefix, max should be maximized, okay? No, just look at one thing. The smallest element will be, the first element will be common in all prefix, right? So if we put the smallest element at the beginning, then it will be taken out of all the prefixes. What I'm trying to say is for here, the smallest element is zero. So let's just keep it this way. So for this prefix, what is the max? It is zero. Why? Because zero is not present in this uh, set. Again. Here, this is a prefix, what is the max, what is the max? Zero, right? Because zero is not present, but we want to maximize our max. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to put zero in the beginning. So it'll be like this, zero, four, two, one, three, three, seven. Now, here, what will be the max? One. Here, what will be the max? One. But one is already there, right? So what we, what we can do is we can put one here and so on. So what the thought process is that first we can sort it. So let's just sort it, see what happens. So I get 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 7, right? So these are the array elements, 4, 2, 0, 1, 3, 3, 7. I just sorted it simply, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 7. Now let's just check the max for each prefix. Here the max will be 1, okay. Here the max will be 2. Here the max will be 3. Here the max will be 4. Again the max will be 4. Here max will be 5 and max will be 5. But can we do better than this? So let's just look here. Max is 1, okay, not a problem. Max is 2, okay. Max is 3, max is 4, again max is 4. But if I remove this 3 and I put it in the back, then what happens? So here max is 1, max is 2, max is 3, max is 4, max is 5, 5 and 5. So there we were getting a 4, here we are getting 5. So by 1, our sum of max is increasing. So what my point is, what I'm doing is that I'm finding all the unique elements in this case, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, and then I'm sorting them. Then all the duplicate elements, I'm putting them in the back. Now in the back, whatever duplicate elements is there, it doesn't matter. So let's take a simple example to understand this. So let's suppose we have 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. Okay. So <laughs> what, I'm, what I was saying is that first I'll just take the unique elements. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Now all the duplicate elements, it doesn't matter. Duplicate elements are 1 and 2, right? Or I, so for the duplicate elements, order doesn't matter. Why? Let's just see. So here max will be 1, here max will be 2, here it will be 3, here it will be 4, and hereafter it will just be 4, no matter what the order of the duplicate elements is. But here if we just keep it in a sorted fashion, then here max will be 1, max will be 2, max will be 2, max will be 3, max will be 3, max will be 4, which is lower than what we're getting here. So what we're doing is first, we're sorting all the, we're putting all the unique elements, we're taking and sorting all the unique elements, unique elements of the array. And then second what we're doing is, we are putting all the remaining elements in the back. So we are putting putting all the remaining elements in the back, okay? So let's just take one more example to understand 22869, right? 
So 22869. What I'm doing is I'm taking all the unique elements. So that will be 2, 6, 8, 9, and 2. And that also is the answer given in here itself. Okay. So yeah, 2, 6, 8, 9, 2, right? So what we're doing is we're taking and sorting all the unique elements of the array and then we're putting all the remaining elements in the back and that is the order that we're looking for okay so this is the code which i wrote okay <clears throat> so what i'm doing is i'm take i'm uh, breaking down my array in two parts first like i said it will have all the unique elements which i'm going to sort and then the remaining elements right so i'm taking in the array elements and i'm checking if it is uh, already there then I'm putting in in the back because it's duplicate if I'm getting it for the first time then it will be unique and I'm increasing its map and I'm putting that in the first part I'm sorting the first part then I'm printing out the first part and then I'm printing out the second part so the first part needs to be sorted for the second part the uh, the order doesn't matter and you can see that it will be like this the first part 0 1 2 3 4 7 it's sorted and the remaining will be duplicate and for the duplicates the order doesn't matter so that's it. I'll put the code in the description. If you have any doubts, just ask. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.